Hello and welcome to another Square World video. As ever, I am Matthew Faulkner and I am joined today by the lovely Chris. Hello, ha. And today we are bringing you yet another walkthrough for an investigation mission on the secret world, this time the men in black vans giving us t uh, given to us by the mop-headed Danny Dufresne, or Dufresne, <laughs> whatever his name is. Is that actually his name? Please tell me that's not his name. Danny no, Dufresne, Danny. that's what it says. I, I don't know, I can't pronounce American <laughs> names. Mophead. <laughs> he is, look at him. Mm. Completely agree. I, as <laughs> always, have not done this. So, Matt will be leading most of this. <laughs> Indeed. It shall be our, our usual formula of Chris trying to figure things out and then me giving him the answer when he gets pissed off. So, Yep. So, we are in the skate park, just across Solomon Bridge here. Uh, as you can see on the map that I'm showing you right this second. Uh, we've already accepted the quest, so you'll have to watch the video. So Matt, where do we go my friend? What are we doing? We go to the black van on the way to the big suspension bridge, where the Orochi operatives are hanging out. Let's do it. Watch out for the um, tripwire here, I don't know if it actually sets something off. Oh. Oh, screw it. <laughs> Never actually paid attention to the traps around here before, although you can get caught in bear traps, so... Oh yeah, so you can. I got trapped on barbed wire. Standard. <laughs> <laughs> Terry O'Reilly, the Irish tank. Shit. Again. He really is a tank, I put him down not like five minutes ago. I mean, if that's not ripped from Left 4 Dead, I don't know what is. So, do you want to give a bit of background on this wonderful quest, investigation we are undertaking? This quest undertaking? is Danny Dufresne has been hanging out in the skate park and he's seen people in black vans uh, poking around and wants to find out what's going on and so we have to have a look at the black vans such as this black van here and have a shifty and see what's happening. Uh, so, we can now laptop. access the laptop as per usual. <laughs> Left click. Oh, I love this okay. input password. password. Hint. My wife. Trolled. <laughs> Trolled? <laughs> right. Uh, who, we have to find out who was um, driving this in that case. So okay, they can't okay. have gotten far. So let's have a shifty. Why don't you have a look Where around the beach? I'll have a look through the woods. There's a lot of dead bodies down here. Is it? Oh, let's have a shifty at them then. Uh, Emily Chan. Emily Chan. I'm guessing Emily it's Chan. Emily Chan. At orochigroup.com. What's the guy? Do they share a last name? Uh, no, they don't. That's Kitsune. unlikely in that case. Whoops. Hey, oh, God. Oh, he's pulled one. He's pulled one. It's alright. My stupidly overpowered gear will kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably point out that Matt has a character somewhat further on than this, and uh, he very kindly donated some gear to me. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is using a QL4 rare sword at the moment. This just makes things a little easier, only a slight bit. Uh, as always, the, the wonderful battle system. Battle system? That was just stupid wording. The wonderful combat system. Flawless as up, always. Heal over time, energy drink. Well, gonna greet that. Oh, you won it. Cheap. <laughs> That's what that is. Cheap. What on earth so is that? So, Kitsune Hayabusa, which I believe is badly translated as Fox Falcon. You tried translating Kitsune translate Hayabusa at orochigroup.com. So, are we looking for another dead person? Well, no, we've got their ID cards here. The, the, these were the two people driving the car, and the laptop's yeah. gonna belong to one of them. We're going to assume a hetero relationship, so let's say it's Kitsune's wife is the person we're looking for. Yeah, so it's not her there then. Unless he's been naughty. No, I doubt that. So we need to fire... That was an unpleasant noise, find... whatever that was. Yeah, some fire going... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, there's some stuff going <laughs> down. Right, let's find the dead wife then. It's a fulgur You know where man. she... You know where she is, don't you? Yeah, she's not in the game. <laughs> oh, what do you mean she's not in the game? Go back, let's have a look at the, um, let's go down and have a look at those cards again and look at every bit of information on Kitsune's card. You're, you're joking me, aren't you? We have to go on browser. 
They've set up a website, haven't they? The Orochi Group has its own website, yeah. That is incredible. That is absolutely proper transmedia incredible. gameplay. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at this Kitsune Hayabusa at OrochiGroup.com thing. See if we find anything there. Right, I'm going to Orochi.com. OrochiGroup.com. Oh, you are absolutely kidding me. They've actually set. That's incredible. Yeah, an interesting side note actually is the Orochi Group seems to open uh, seems to open seems to own every franchise in areas affected by occult disasters like Kingsmouth. They own the the gas station Psycoil is a subsidiary of Orochi. Sally Anderson is his spouse. So let's uh, try Sally Anderson that is in that case. Absolutely brilliant. Let's right, so Sally Anderson. I'm going to try just Sally first and see where that gets me. Ah, there we go. Oh, did you just put Sally, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Engage PK Pulse Unit. In case of emergency, a cult attractor, v they've been putting machine out here to uh, attract the zombies. Use the tracking device. So we want to press 3, don't we? Or do we? No, it's these are assembly sequence. One, engage PK pulse unit. Two, a fixed manifest agitator. A fixed etheric oh, transponder. See. To here, here we go. Disassemble in reverse order to avoid etheric spikes and possible unwanted attention. Right. So let's take a note of those steps. How? Do we have a notebook yet? Have they created a notebook? Um, <laughs> do you have a pen and paper in your room? Why? No, I don't. Just to be awkward. <laughs> I do. I've got the whole thing written out on the back of an old wages slip, actually. You don't work. <laughs> <laughs> and yet I still have wage slips. Right, I'll, I'll just let you write it down. So assume minimum safe distance before power up, so we need to get close and power down. Let's use the tracking device first. Where's track? Oh, I love these missions. You pick it up from the back of the thing and use it. Uh, oh yeah, I see. Okie dokie. Right. So I've got it. I press... And then nine. it's in your inventory. Yeah, right click. There's a big or red box. Right click it. What did that just do? You should have a green beacon on your head that beeps every yes, now and again. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do indeed. Now it's hot and cold to find out where it is. Uh, what we're we looking for? We're looking for a machine that Orochi set down somewhere. Oh, touche. <coughs> but it should start beeping faster as we get close. Should. Doesn't. Oh yeah, yeah, it's beeping faster. Yeah. There it is. I'm assuming. Yeah. Okie dokie. Okay. So. Uh, I've got it written down here. So, in reverse order, we have to prod the etheric transponder. So, we click on the left, the thing that's flashing, yeah? Yeah, okay. Now, we've got to click on these highlighted parts in the right order. So, the final yep. step to build was the um, etheric transponder, so that'll be the first step to disassemble. So, let's have a shifty around all these glowing bits and find out which one is the ether uh, etheric transponder. And it's back here. Uh, yep. Is it that one? So, yeah, okie dokie. Fundal that. So we, we dismantle that. Yep. So you use that then. Manifest agitator. Which is round the other side, I think, isn't it? Yeah. No, that's the distributor. Oh no, that's the distributor. Accumulation loop. Manifest agitator, right here. Yep, okie dokie, done. And then finally, the PK pulse unit. Uh, da, 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 da. Which is right on top near you. Uh, yeah, okie okay, dokie, okay. got it. Nice one. <laughs> Deactivated, and, and that's done. Mission there done. There you have the men in black van. Uh, the men in black vans investigation mission. Wow, that's worth a lot of XP, considering it's worth, how easy that was. It's worth almost half a million XP. 
Wow. Wow, yeah, 5 SP and 17 AP. Well, there we go, boys and girls. That simple. Let's kill that dude behind you before he gets annoying. And then we will... What is... What is that? It's a Fallen Brood Witch. She's meant to have a squid coming out the front of her, but she doesn't. Oh, there it is. She dead. So that... <laughs> is quite a simple investigation by, well I say that, I mean that middle section where you have to go on uh, the actual website, that's incredible. <laughs> yeah, get used to a lot, you know, far more complicated things to come. <laughs> right, so recap, go for it Matt, what do you do for this quest? You talk to the mop-headed Danny Dufra, what's it, in the skate park, At the skate park. find the black van, look at the corpse ID card, go online and find out who Kitsune Hayabusa's wife is, Use her name as a password, pick up the beacon trans doofer, use it to find this box, and then you funnel the box in the appropriate order in order to, uh, to take it apart and collect an insane reward. Done and dusted, boys and girls, and at that, we shall say goodbye. Indeed. <laughs>